Hey everyone, welcome back to the range. My name is Matt. For those of you that partake and follow CrossFit, it's open season 2023. Essentially, that means I'm going to stress out for the next four days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, and figure out how many times I'm going to redo a workout for a better score. I don't know about you all, but I sure miss Dave Castro doing the open announcements. Anyways, I have what I hope to be a very brief product review today. Every time I tell myself that and I write my little script for how I want to talk about some of my key points, I think it's going to be short. And then I hit the render button and realize it's 10 freaking minutes long. Anyways, this is from Sunway, Sunway. Someone please correct me in the comments below. This is a hunting series tripod from them. In full transparency, I was sent this tripod by the Sunway North American rep with no strings attached, Sunway is a Chinese tripod company. They've been around since 2008. They primarily sell tripods, but they offer other accessories in the hunting space, such as some aluminum rings here. They even have one of the fancy scope mounting tools. As with other overseas products, there's always less than stellar views of them compared to an American-made counterpart, but I'm here to give everything a fair shake regardless of the country of origin. Our model of tripod for review today, I'm gonna to murder the model number, so I'm just gonna read off the tripod, is the TL3240CS with the SQC50 ball and their SM86 gun rest. We start all of our reviews out with our basic specifications because after all, I am the data nerd and I try to give you as much information as possible in these videos. Besides this nifty little carry bag, which fits our tripod and all of its little tidbits very nicely, our tripod in its most compact size is 22 inches long and has a diameter of 4.8 inches. That's what she said. Our weight as listed on the website is four pounds and I measured my sample at three pounds, 13 ounces. It is made from T6061 aluminum with carbon fiber leg tubes. Our load capacity on this particular model is 35 pounds. Our minimum height with the legs fully flat at 85 degrees is 4.7 inches. That would be handy for, say, doing anything with a chronograph. Our max height with the legs at 23 degrees is 61 inches. We have a non-detachable 38 millimeter swiveling ball mount with thumb wheel and our ARCA mount with built-in bubble level. We have four leg sections with lever release locks. We also have our threaded rubber and spiked stainless steel feet. They're actually stainless steel. I've put a magnet to them. They do not attract the magnet. Our leg angle locks are spring assisted. You can see right there that the little lock to lock our legs in there comes back. We have additional three eighths and quarter inch threaded sockets at the base. Our MSRP on this fancy little tripod is $589. As far as our SM86 gun rest, it is 4.3 inches long, 3 inches wide, and 4 inches in height. It has a weight of 1 pound, 4.3 ounces. Again, it's made from T6061 aluminum. It has this very huge triangle knob for adjusting the clamp diameter, which goes from 1.3 inches all the way to 3.4 inches. It can be mounted with our arc mount or direct to the ball head. And this one has an MSRP of $129. The primary use of this tripod is a shooting support, whether you are hunting or target practicing. I will admit right off the bat that 99% of all of my shooting to date has either been prone, shooting from one of my desks that I got from work, or standing or sitting in my use of a tripod has been very minimal. I wouldn't call myself a tripod aficionado, but I literally have a bag of them that I bring with me to the range every time, mainly for the different cameras and chronograph, etc. I do appreciate the fine quality of our Manfrotto, but I have dabbled in the Amazon Basic and the Sunpack style tripods before. I will say from a 10,000 foot view, everything I see about this Tripod speaks of quality. We've got aluminum everywhere. We don't have any cheap plastic that's going to potentially dry out and crack over time from being exposed to the sun. All of the different little locking points seem to be fairly solid. 
Our anodizing color seems to be very well done on our aluminum parts as well. We have been using this tripod on and off for about four months when I remember to take it to the range. We have used it from mild to wild. If you do have any M-lock slots on any of your firearms on the underside rail, you can use this Arca mount to mount to that M-lock slot and then directly attach it to this ball head. That wild we talked about, Yes, we actually put our Barrett M107A1 in this tripod and shot it. That thing tips the scale right around 29 pounds without optic and without ammunition. And while it didn't balance the greatest because there's a uh, pivot pin point in the front of the M107A1 where you pin the top and bottom together, it actually didn't break. I fired five, six, seven rounds through that gun and it handled it just fine. Now. Ideally, you probably shouldn't make it a normal habit to fire something that large of a caliber through a tripod like this. Barrett actually sells a tripod mount or a, or a gun mount for it. More ideally, something in the 308 or the 338 caliber maximum would be ideal. We did shoot the Ruger Precision Magnum from this and it handled just fine. We didn't break any of the legs or any other part of the tripod in doing so. As mentioned, I like the construction and quality of our Sunway Photo tripod. All the legs went in and out with ease. The locks and the legs work. The locks up here. I like this huge thumb wheel on our saddle mount here for making quick adjustments. Our lock for our ball head worked. I would say the only complaint with our SQ50 head here is this has a thumb wheel on the side for tightening it down, tightening the saddle mount or your gun down to this little arc mount. And during some of that heavy recoil, it's really hard to reef down on this little tiny thumb wheel and keep it tight. So there were a couple times that the this mount would actually slide back a little bit. And some of these mounts do have little um, screws on each end that would prevent it from actually sliding off. Sunway does offer a D variant of this ball head and they have a locking lever on the side that I imagine once you get the thumb wheel tight, then that locking lever will give you a little bit extra leverage to make sure that whatever you mount in this Arca mount stays nice and tight. I will say that during the course of fire, anytime that I've used this, once I've actually locked the locking lever in for our ball head, that stayed nice and tight. While our ball head mount has a bubble level on it, I feel Sunway could add another bubble level to the base because after all, you can never have too many levels. Now a downside to this particular ball socket mount is that there is no center post on this. So this prevents you from actually hanging weight from the center to act kind of like a counterbalance and keep your tripod weighted down in any kind of windy conditions. I suppose one could get crafty with some duct tape or maybe some quarter inch or three eighths bolts and some wire and actually kind of make like a basket to hang down there for added weight. But otherwise, you're going to have to buy one of the weighted bags that actually attach to the legs of your tripod. Just remember, folks, when you're out and about, ounces equals pounds and pounds equals pain. At five pounds for this tripod setup from Sunway, I think they offer a good balance of weight to features. With all that being said, it's time for me to get the heck out of here. But at the end of all my videos, I take a moment to thank all those who help make these possible because there's a lot that goes into them. Number one is my Patreon and subscribe star fans. Hopefully you don't ever get tired of me saying this, but I have a link tree in the description below with various different ways to contact me and or support me through affiliate links, which you will find for Sunway down there as well. So if you're looking to pick one of these up and you want to kick something back my way as a thank you, that's the easiest way to do it. Number two is 2A Media, Max, who in full transparency sent me this Sunway Photo tripod to review with no strings attached. And of course, number three is you all for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you at the range.